Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of my repairs video. I know it's been a uh, you know some time now since I made another video for y'all to say, but today's episode is a very good uh, episode. I want y'all to pay special attention to. So we got something here, you know. Uh, if you happen to you have any electric scooter, it doesn't matter the one you see here. It can be you know. Uh, but I've been one of these or any electric scooter that has electric uh, has a battery, lithium ion battery in, then this video is going to be, you know, the quickest solution to get your uh, problem that I might come with that scooter that we're going to be talking about right here. Now, I left these both scooters, you know, of, uh, you know, I charged them that then I went away, you know, I went away, I've been away for, you know, a couple of weeks. So when I came back, uh, I try to charge the, the scooter, so which I'm going to do right now. So this this one here, if you all see, that's the Ultra G, you know, uh, charger. And then the one here, that's the QR charger. So if I put a switch on, we just connect to these two here. If I put it on now, you can see right up, we got a red light, and you can hear the fan turning. So that means that this scooter is now, you know, char is now charging. Now, when we look at this one right here, you can see that what we got in there, you got, uh, I don't know if you all can see, let me just, you know, yeah, you got some blinking light, you see that the light keep blinking, that means that this scooter is not charging. So, this scooter is, you know, I made in a smart way, uh, they got something in there called the BSM, uh, the battery management uh, system. So, when your battery, is uh, very low, you know, on a low voltage. Uh, there's a BSM board that protects the battery from now, you know, discharging further down and damaging the battery. So that means that uh, to revive that battery, you're gonna have to take the deck off and get a battery out. Which in most cases, if you look on YouTube or whatever you search your information, you might be saying that, that that's the only way you can revive those battery. If not, you're gonna be having this problem. You put your scooter on charge, you know, you see the switch on, all you're gonna have to be saying is, is that you're not gonna get no power in. Whatever you do, you're not gonna get no power in. You can see the QR right up, it's charging the red light on, you're not gonna get uh, power in. So um, I made few research, like I always wanna make videos to help you all, you know, to uh, get your problem solved on any electric scooter. So I made few research. And what I do is that there is a bus pass that we can do, you know, to get a scooter by working without you know, actually taking the battery out because in this situation that we are in right now, the only way you're going to be, you know, getting this scooter charging is taking the deck off, get a battery off, and these batteries are well protected. They are wrapped in some blue layers. You're going to have to carefully cut the, the plastic blue layer off, not the battery. You're going to have to be careful with the cables, just cutting the plastic blue layer out. And when that plastic blue layer is cut off, you're going to be seeing the battery as battery because they are smaller batteries that is packed up. I think each battery is about 3 volt. Uh, some of the scooters are going to be 1.5 volt. The battery some are going to have a 3 volt the battery. So whatever scooter you have, whatever voltage you have, most of the scooter manufacturing made that in a way not to put too much weight on the scooter because the batteries are heavy. So if each individual source is 3 volt, then that means that the number of battery you have in there, it could be 10, 20, 100, whatever battery you multiply that, that will give you the voltage capacity of that battery. Now, the only way you can revive that battery, which is the only way a lot of people do that is, get a battery and get a, a, a charger. You're gonna have to get a three volt. If the battery is a three volt, you're gonna have to get a three volt charger. And that three volt charger, you're gonna have to get a special battery revive charger or you can get a normal three volt charger. Cut the pin off, expose the negative and the positive wire, then carefully attach the positive wire by the means, any means that you can, that the wire should be touching the positive side of the battery. You do the same with the negative side and let that battery be on that charge. If you're not use a multimeter, you might be able to use a multimeter to read the voltage once the battery is charged. And once that battery, if the voltage capacity is 1.5 volt, and you're able to read at 1.5 and you move to the next cell, you're gonna have to do that for all the individual battery in that pack. Once you get all the voltage in and then you plug it in, your scooter should start charging. That's a long way and the only way that a lot of people do it now. But the shortest way that I find now that I'm gonna teach you all is if you got that problem, you're not gonna be able to you know, do all that long way because sometimes if you 
uh, made any mistake, you might end up actually in damaging the battery. Imagine like you going in there, uh, you know, connecting a, a 6 volt, you know, charger instead of a 3 volt or connecting a 3 volt charger instead of 1.5 volt and plugging on that battery, you're going to be destroying the battery. So the best way is when you got a situation with any scooter, it, it, it will work with most scooters. And I'm pretty sure they will work with a lot of scooters because every scooter got, you know, uh, the, the, the controller in, the power switch, the some of them got light. If you ain't got no light, you don't have to worry about that. So in this case, if we look at that right now, that's still blinking. If I put this light off, you see that's still blinking. That's what we get, it's just blinking, you know, red. So it's like the battery will charge, but the, B the BSM stop the, the battery from charging. So the battery is not gonna charge until the individual cells that are in the, in the voltage capacity before the BSM will allow it to charge. But look at what happened. If we put the scooter on right now, the scooter is on now. If we go to that, now let me put the light off. You see that now the green and the red keep flashing very, very, very fast. It's not like before, I'm, I'm just going to hold it and put the, the power off. So you all just pay attention to that. I'm going to just put the scooter off now. So scooter is going to go off. So now the scooter is off. You see that the blinking is a bit slower. That means that the battery want to charge, but it's not charging. If you leave it on charge like this, it will take a very long time. If you're lucky for the BSM to, you know, the, the, the cells that are just after the BSM to receive that voltage and then go to the next one, it will take a very long time. But if you put a scooter on again like I did right now, and we go back there, this is what's happened. And now this is where the magic kicks in. Now, if you put your light on, I'm just going to put a light back. If you put a light on, if your scooter got a light and you put this light on, now this is what we have. The light is on, so you're all not going to see, but you can see that the red is now flashing very almost steady. So when the scooter was off, it was flashing like it's trying to charge, or the red and the green they were flashing kind of like, you know, um, very quick. When we put a scooter on without the light in, the red keep flashing, you know, not as quick as before, but not as low as it is running. So right now, as it is running, what's happening is, because the light and the on is drawing the current, because this light is drawing the, the current from the battery. So you can see that, uh, let me just focus that. Uh, yeah, so you can see that the battery voltage is dropping. So what happened is that the BSM is meant, the BSM on that battery is meant to prevent the battery dropping further voltage from where it is right now. And also to prevent the battery from charging till all individual cells battery in that scooter have reached the required voltage before the, the charge system will work again. But since you're doing this, you are actually uh, bypassing the BSM now. So that is gonna keep flashing. And now the BSM now is allowing the, the, the charge to come into the battery because what happened is that now the voltage is dropping lower than the BSM wants to allow. So what the BSM is doing now is it's trying to allow the voltage, uh, the charge to go into the battery to get to the required voltage before it cut off. But then because there's a constant power flowing in, it's not going to cut off. So this will allow your battery to systematically, you know, charge back, but it's going to take a very long time. And also, I would advise that when you find yourself in that situation and you are going to uh, be doing that, uh, I would advise that you don't do that and leave the scooter, you know, on just like this and then leave the house. You know, you know how these things work. These scooters are very fun, you know, to ride, but they are very dangerous. You know what I mean? You don't want to leave this thing just on charge, just in the house, lock your door and go. You never know what will happen, especially when you're having this problem with the scooter and the battery is not charging. You never open the scooter. You don't know the state of the battery in. Maybe some of the cell might actually be giving up right now. You don't know. So my advice is that when you're gonna do, use this system to revive your battery, you're gonna have to spend time and be around. So it might be worth doing it when you're not working, maybe weekends, wake up in the morning, you put a scooter on, not doing it and go to sleep. Put a scooter on very early in the morning, spend time, keep monitoring the scooter, let it charge, let the light, everything, or let the charge keep going, and do it throughout the whole day. Whatever charge you get, if you need to go somewhere, just put a scooter on and go somewhere, get your, your things done. When you're back again, you're in the house there, get the same thing done, and then die away. 
I cannot tell you right now how many days it's going to take or whatever it is. But if you do it that way, you will still revive your, your battery and get it charging without actually removing the battery and passing through all this process of cutting, you know, connecting volt, uh, uh, you know, battery, you know, volt charges and on that to the battery. You're not going to be, uh, you're not going to require to do all that to get a battery on. But you are going to require to spend time to work the scooter and follow that procedure to get your battery by working. This is what I'm going to be doing. But now because... I know that, you know, since I got back from my holiday, you know, I've been, you know, in and out. I don't have time, so I just put it off. But I found a way to revive the battery without actually taking the battery off. So, this is a short video, like I always do. Make, uh, you know, educative video for you all to help you all with all the problems you all be having with your scooter. I've been getting love, you know, people thank me for my videos, how it's helping the people out in the world. I appreciate all the good comment that, you know, you all just keep, uh, you know, uh, putting on my videos. Y'all share this video with people. There's a lot of people that might be having issues. Share the video so the video can help people. And also, if you are new to this channel, you are in the best place where you could, uh, you're going to learn a lot of stuff about electric scooters and anything to do with batteries and electric and motors. You're going to be learning a lot because I do videos. There are my videos here. You know, I, I, I work on scooters. You know, I make sure that whatever I put in is very educative to help you all. Very simple. My videos that you all can say that, oh, why are you not editing your video? Yeah, I'm just making video to help. You know, I'm not in the studio. You can see that most of the time I'm doing my video at home. But I got time back from work or something. I said I made this video to help you all. If I'm not be doing studio, you know, going there, I might not be having time to be doing all that. So the quality of my videos might not be, you know, the quality of the people that have time for it. But information that I put across there will help you more than those quality videos that you watch without no information. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Give a thumb up to my videos. And then I'll see you in the next one. So y'all keep keep your head up to, you know, the next video, uh, the next part of this video. Let me call it that way to tell y'all how many days it takes or how long it takes me to use this procedure to revive the battery and get it working. Till then, y'all stay safe. Like I always do at the end of my videos, respect whatever you are, the rules of these scooters, whatever the rules is, follow the rules and enjoy your scooter so you don't have no problem with the police or, you know, other road users. I'm out now and peace.